हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर द टॉपिक ऑफ द क्लास इज अ डेसीमेटर द टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम द मल्टी रेट सिस्टम डी एस पी सब्जेक्ट लेट इज सी वॉट इज अ डेसीमेटर फर्स्ट डेसीमेटर हियर द ब्लॉक डाइग्राम ऑफ डेसीमेटर इज ड्रॉन हियर एक्स ऑफ एन इज अ इनपुट एंड वाई ऑफ एन इज अ आउटपुट so decimeter with an anti aliasing filter h of n is a impulse response of an anti aliasing filter with a down sampler so what is a decimeter it is comprising of an anti aliasing filter and a down sampler down sampled by a factor of capital m so if you see the ideal magnitude response of an anti aliasing filter it is of this nature mod of h of e to j omega versus omega it is band limited to minus pi minus pi by m to pi by m it is a ideal magnitude response of the anti aliasing filter what is the need of this filter before down sampling so let us see the spectrum of the output to signal this is a frequency spectrum y of n is the output signal if we take its frequency response or frequency spectrum it is designated by mod of capital y to the power um, mod y e to the power j omega this is a frequency spectrum of the output signal of the down sampled signal of y of n x of n in the x of n is the input signal it is down sampled to get y of n before down sampling we are passing through an anti aliasing filter what is its need to pass through it okay if you see the spectrum of the down sampled signal it is coming in this form so here some parts are overlapped okay so this uh, pink portion shows that the the samples are getting overlapped to avoid this overlapping of the samples is known as aliasing okay so what is this one this uh, um, graph is for frequency spectrum of the down sampled signal with overlapping so why it is occurring the let us see few points under decimeter the first point is the spectrum obtained after down sampling will overlap if the original spectrum is not band limited to omega is equal to pi by m the overlapping is occurring because the signal is not band limited to pi by m this overlap causes aliasing the effect is known as aliasing second point aliasing due to down sampling a signal by a factor capital m is absent if and only if the signal x of n is band limited to plus or minus pi by capital m if the input signal x of n is band limited to plus or minus pi by m aliasing will not take place the overlapping of the samples will not occur the third point is if the signal x of n is not band limited to plus or minus pi by m then a low pass filter with a cut off frequency of pi by m is used prior to down sampling so practical the signal may not be band limited to plus or minus pi by m so we need to place a low pass filter that is an anti aliasing filter with a cut off frequency of pi by m this filter is known as anti aliasing filter the complete process that is filtering and then down sampling is called or referred as decimation okay so these are the four points under decimation so this diagram is for a decimator so input signal before down sampling by a factor capital m it is passed through a anti aliasing filter to avoid the aliasing effect because if this filter is not present 
the output frequency spectrum will have overlapping samples. If the signal x of n is band limited to plus or minus pi by m, the output will not be aliased, it will not be overlapped. So, this uh, h of n is a low pass filter of this magnitude response having band limited to minus pi by m to pi by m. Okay. So, what is a decimator? It is comprising of an anti-aliasing filter and a down sampler. Anti-aliasing filter is to avoid aliasing effect when the signal x of n is not bad limi band limited to plus or minus pi by m. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.